It's Friday, June 10th, 2022. Big trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We got very, very big trouble. This economy is crashing. The market now is beginning to have big, big problems. And I want to talk about that with you today. Uh, markets just closed a little while ago. Uh, an absolutely horrific day. Markets absolutely destroyed. Dow Jones down 880 points. NASDAQ was down 444 points. 10-year bond yield, as I make this video, sitting at 3.156. Uh, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate today at 5.56% and climbing. Jerome Powell must call, in my opinion, call for an emergency meeting this weekend and Monday. He needs to raise uh, the, the interest rate one full percentage point immediately. Again, in my opinion, Jerome Powell, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell, needs to call for an emergency meeting this weekend and Monday morning uh, raise the Fed's fund rate one full percentage point. If something is not done very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see double digit inflation right here in America. Now, real inflation is already in double digits. I'm aware of that. But we will see the official government number in double digits here very, very soon if they do not take action immediately. We are, um, we are really heading into some real serious trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. And, and I, I cannot stress the importance that you don't get complacent, uh, that uh, you don't listen to everybody saying, buy the dip, buy the dip. Where are all the dip buyers today? All those people in the comments that kept bragging about buying the dip. You buying the dip today? Uh, more dips are coming. We're going to see lower highs and lower lows. They are losing control. And my concern is the Fed is getting so far behind here that when they do raise on Wednesday 50 basis points, it's just really not going to do anything. Now they're talking about a 75 basis point rate hike uh, in July. They need to be raising rates at least minimally one full percentage point, 100 basis points now at every meeting to at least start uh, gaining some ground on this inflation or they are going to lose absolute control. Today, gasoline uh, super unleaded at the Chevron station in La Quinta broke $7 per gallon. Uh, I saw less people driving today down I-10 than I have in a while. It was a bit noticeable. Uh, let's talk about the CPI number today. It rose 8.6% in May from a year ago. 8.6% in May from a year ago. We know it's much higher than that. Food prices surged. Bacon is up 15.3% year over year. Eggs are up 32% year over year. Coffee is up 15% year over year. Fish, 12.2%. Milk, 15.9%. And gas, up nearly 50% year over year. I do not know how people are doing it. Now, I know that a lot of people now are solely relying on credit cards. Uh, they're using their cash out refis and burning through cash. Uh, they're doing payday loans. Uh, people are, are going to come to a dead end here at some point. And this is when we're going to see very, very big trouble. This Fed must slam the brakes now. They need to slam the brakes on this thing right now. This government needs to cut spending, and we must raise interest rates above the rate of inflation, or it is not going to stop. And I think this is why you saw gold up over $23 today. Everything red today, everything down except two things, gold and silver. Very disappointed that silver is only up about 17 cents right now, uh, but it's not getting hammered like everything else. Gold up $23, and as long as... Uh, Inflation keeps running wild. Gold's going to do what gold does, slow and steady. And I feel very comfortable that I can access gold very, very quickly, convert it into any currency, 
any currency I have to in the world. Uh, I can trade it for current for currencies. I can trade it for other assets. Uh, but wow, I mean, people must be looking at their money markets today, their IRAs, their 401ks. How about your pensions? Uh, this is going to have a very negative impact on people's pensions. If this keeps going on, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't think people really understand the amount of damage that is taking place right now and how much more is coming. Used car and truck sales up 16.1% year over year. How long does this continue to go on when people cannot even afford to put the gasoline in their car or their trucks? Uh, if you cannot afford to put fuel in these vehicles, how in the world are people going to be able to buy them if they can't even afford the diesel or the gas to operate them? An incredible day today. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, but I'm not. I, I, I mean, I hate to see people get destroyed, but people are losing wealth. They're losing their retirement. Uh, they're losing their investments. And, you know, I've been talking about this for a couple of years that the inevitable is coming and it is now knocking at the door. That doesn't mean that everything is going to collapse next week. But we are now watching an acceleration of this collapse take place. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, the Fed is now in a corner. Uh, they, the tools that they have um, are becoming useless. Uh, and, and the Fed cannot stop the shipping crisis, the food shortages. Uh, the Fed cannot stop um, what's happening in energy and the uh, lack of of, of, of fuel that we have here in America, because if we're not going to drill this stuff and we rely on other countries, then, you know, we're going to be enslaved to those countries and pay whatever we have to pay. And so the Fed can't do anything about that. But there's plenty that the Fed can be doing right now. And this government must cut the spending. Uh, I, I think we've got to open up energy. We've, we've got to start producing and manufacturing things in this country. Uh, I'm really concerned. And today is a huge wake-up call, another reminder to you and I of how quickly things can happen. How many people woke up today? Now, I was expecting, I wasn't expecting it to be this bad today, to be quite honest with you. I thought that, that uh, we would probably get a little improvement or be pretty much flat with the CPI. But it came in hotter than expected. Uh, I was talking to uh, my buddy last night. I said, if it comes in hotter, look out. We're probably going to see a thousand point loss today. Well, it was 880 points. Uh, wow. Uh, just mind blowing how quickly things can happen. And this is why uh, we prepare. This is why we own assets. This is why we pay off our debts. This is why we uh, try to have good credit. So when we need to finance something like a home uh, on sale, we have credit. How many people's credit is going to be destroyed through this whole ordeal with this whole crash as they lose their cars, as they get evicted out of apartments, as they default on mortgages, default on the credit cards, their credit's going to be destroyed and they're not going to be able to take advantage of the opportunities that will be coming. The Fed now has good reason to surprise markets. Barclays is first bank to call for, for 75 basis point uh, rate hike next week. It's very possible. Uh, I think it, I think the Fed absolutely minimally should be raising uh, the rate next week, minimally 75 basis points. I'd like to see 100 basis points, but who knows? Uh, more than likely, it'll be 50. Uh, jobless claims unexpectedly rose to highest level since January. Uh, we got the jobless numbers yesterday. 229,000 people last week filed first-time jobless claims. Not a word of this on the news. Nobody, not nobody, even talking about the jobless jobless claims that are increasing. We're going to see that number increase more and more. DocuSign shares plunge 24% on profit miss and downgrades. At one point, DocuSign was around $300 a share. Uh, right now, it's $65. Uh, uh, go ahead, buy the dip, buy the effing dip, everybody. If you feel confident uh, in these markets you feel com confident with what's happening, if you feel confident where this is all going, buy the effing dip. That's what they're saying all day on the television. You need to be jumping in and buying this stuff. Two-year treasury rate surges to highest level since 2008. Uh, as I make this video, it's sitting at uh, 
uh, 3.15 and some change. U.S. consumer prices re-accelerate in May highest since 1981. This is the highest inflation we have ever had, period. Uh, they like to manipulate the numbers. They, use, they like to use a different format or a different formula to come up with these inflation numbers, the, the, the CPI. If we go back how they did it back in the early 80s, uh, we would see we would be seeing probably 20% infl inflation right now. It would be the highest in the history of the U.S. Consumer sentiment collapses to record low in June, crashing 58.4 to 50.2, massively below the 58.1 expectation. So, where's this all going, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I don't really have an answer, uh, but it looks like it's going to. A very very bad place. Uh, I, 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 we're going to get a 50 basis point rate hike on Wednesday minimal. It should be much higher than that. I, I hope that the Fed uh, wakes up, gets more aggressive. They they really should be raising the rate Monday, uh, 100 basis points. But they're 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 not going to do that. But if they have any guts whatsoever, they will raise the rate Wednesday 75 basis points minimally. So we'll see how it plays out. But this means the cost to borrow money is going to go up. Uh, I truly believe that by the end of this month, you will see uh, the 30-year fixed rate on a mortgage at 6 plus percent. Uh, it is going to get more expensive to service debt, more expensive to service those credit cards, more expensive to borrow money to buy a house, to buy a car. Uh, it, it is really, and, and this is what is really going to affect the middle class and the poor. Um, a lot of people out there said that, and they're still saying this as of just a few days ago, that the Fed won't be raising rates next week. Uh, I don't see the Fed reversing course. Maybe it's just me. I, I might just be out of my mind here, but I don't see the Fed raising rates like everybody is saying. Uh, I believe that they're going to continue raising rates and I believe they're going to start getting more aggressive. At, at some point, maybe it will be July, maybe it will be September, we see 100 basis points or 75 basis point rate hike. Uh, and we don't really even know Wednesday if it's going to be 50, possibly 75. Rates are going up. They're going to continue to raise the interest rate and you need to prepare for this. And, and you know, people continue. Uh, to be lost out there. Uh, I don't have all the answers for you. I'm just making you aware of the problems uh, of, of these concerns so that you take action in your life. And what does that mean? What kind of action can you take? Well, maybe you can get your debts paid off. Maybe you can pick up an extra side hustle or two side hustles, pick up some overtime at work. Um, you know, maybe you have to cut some things out in life. You know, the, I, I still see the long lines. Uh, at Starbucks, people drinking their eight and nine dollar coffees, yet they don't have an ounce of gold, an ounce of silver. Uh, they got four or five credit cards maxed out to the hilt. People just aren't making sacrifices. So maybe you can make some sacrifices financially in your life. Maybe you can physically get in better shape. Um, maybe you can cut the lattes out. Uh, maybe you can cut the vacation out. Uh, maybe you don't need to be leasing a $1,200 car or truck right now. You, you know, we have to make sacrifices. We have to cut things out uh, to get the debts paid down. Uh, this is going to be a very trying time on millions of people. And it is going to be, it's going to be a rough time, ladies and gentlemen. There's there's no way to sugarcoat it. Um, I, I Today is just another uh, it's another wake-up call and it's it, when you see what happened today on a friday tomorrow saturday and then there's sunday you have the entire weekend to go and buy extra food water uh, to get in better shape uh, to go work a side hustle uh, and pay down some debt uh, show some you know how many how about people showing some control and maybe not running up the credit cards this weekend, maybe not going out to dinner if you can't afford to do so. Look, if you can afford to do all this and pay cash and, and, it, and it doesn't affect your life in any way, more power to you. God bless you. Have a great weekend. But if you got to put a dinner on a credit card, maybe you shouldn't be going to dinner this weekend. If you got to go to Starbucks and put it on a credit card, maybe you shouldn't be drinking a $9 latte. So to those people, uh, look, I don't have all the answers. 
Um, I'm just trying to make you think. And the best thing to do right now is get the hell out of debt. Do what you can to preserve your credit, get out of debt, uh, maybe get rid of the $1,200 or $1,000 leased car, uh, maybe <coughs> pull back your lifestyle a little bit, sacrifices. Uh, you you want to be nimble right now. You want to be small right now. You do not want to have a lead anchor tied around your leg going into a depression. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a recession right now. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, we are now in a recession heading deeper uh, towards a depression. And most of this country is not prepared for it. Put the odds in your favor any which way you can get in better physical, mental, spiritual, and financial shape today. You can start doing this right now. Time is of the essence. And remember, time is not your friend. Time is running out. Again, look at what just happened today. And it could have been much, much worse. It could have been much worse. These markets were selling off in the last five minutes. I mean, it was selling off. If this market would have stayed open for another 10 minutes, the Dow would have been way past 1,000 points down. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there today, but it is a concerning, concerning time. And I'm getting very, very worried. And this is some scary stuff. And you know, if you uh, are scared or concerned or fearful of what you see, it is time to take action right now. You are running out of time. Take this weekend and take action and start preparing for a huge, historic, biblical, economic downturn. God bless.